Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I look crazy but it's because it's finally game day in South Carolina. I'm gonna close this because music's so loud. Literally there's people everywhere. Oh my god. So the game's at seven, it's literally like one and everybody's already blaring music, like going crazy. So we're just getting ready early so we can like just do our makeup right now and then go hang out with people and come back and do hair and uniforms and have time to take pictures. So this is gonna be in two parts. This is the makeup part for how I do my makeup for SEC game day. I'm so excited and so I obviously got a spray tan that makes my makeup routine different, but I'm gonna take you guys through it. So what I use for primer is this Lancome. Sydney showed me it and it's very pricey. Like I think it was 40 or 50. Yeah, so it is worth it. I would say splurge on it because you can see like it looks like I've used none of it. It's like literally up to here and I've used it like almost every day. I don't know how it just like lasts so long, but I need lots of primer because we're doing our makeup at one and the game starts at seven. So it'll go to like 11. So we're gonna have it on for like 12 hours basically. So we need lots of primer. That's a very important step for game days because normally it's hot when we start the season earlier, but since we're starting the season so late, it's kind of cooler, but today's kind of humid. Oh my God, I'm putting on lots of primer. Hello? I'm doing a get ready with me. <laughs> I'm not just talking to myself. I thought you were like upset. I was like, you didn't sound like- I was hyped, but my, I'm, I just shouted you out for this primer. Oh yes. I, was I thought it's worth the splurge, right? Yeah, for sure. I need highlighter. You'll see more of her later. Okay. So for foundation, I use Revlon when it's like an important day. Toast Hail because it's a dark color, like a darker color than my normal. And like I have a spray tan, so it'll blend better. But on normal days, I'll either use just BB cream, either the Cover Girl or the Maybelline. They work just as good, but I don't know. I just feel like better using my normal Revlon. But we might have to use the other ones because this might be almost out. Shoot, I need to get more of that and concealer. But we might be out. Okay, I'm gonna mix this one with the CoverGirl BB cream. They're like the same color. Then I used to use beauty blenders, but they got so dirty. I just like using this brush now. I just go like this, rub it in. I literally like am no makeup guru. Like I barely put any on, it barely takes me any time. So like, don't expect greatness, you know? Maybe I'll put like dots on my head. I like never know what to do, I switch it up. It's so loud out there. Spray tan, you don't want to put much on because I feel like it like evens out your base. I should blend down my neck though. I always forget to do that. I really need to go to Ulta. Or I can literally have my makes makeups from the drugstore so I can literally get it from the drugstore. Foundation is done. I always get stressed if I need more, but Concealer time. I'm almost out of this too. See, it's down to the very bottom, but I use the Instant Age Rewinder. I need to get the big one. All you do, it's so easy, you just like this. Again, it's drugstore. And then you go like this under your eyes, wherever you want to put it. I put it up here. I don't know specific terms. And then on any blemishes, which I kind of have a lot down here on this side. Yeah. Then I take the same one for the foundation, probably bad, and just blend it. And it just kind of lightens it up, which is good. Let me show y'all each thing in lighting. I can't open this because everybody's looking at me. All right, next step, I never do this step. I'm gonna for today, I have CoverGirl setting powder. So I just take that, and then I pour it into here. And I take a beauty blender, mine are so dirty, and I go along where I, um, where I did concealer and let it bake. I never do this stuff because it's just extra, but it's an important day, y'all. You could do other stuff while it bakes, but I don't like to, it just gets everywhere. I'm probably gonna take mine off now, that probably wasn't long enough, but it's fine. I just take my powder brush and just brush it off. It really just lightens up my spray tan, which I like, because that was way too, like, you know, my skin color. Okay, see? That just really, like, matched my face a lot better. That is a really good step to do, especially when, like, it'll be going all day. Normally, I just use Hoola Bronzer for powder, 
But since I did that, I'm barely gonna do any. I really need to get a regular powder, but it's just easier. Now I go in with the, um, the contour. I use the um, Anastasia palette. So it has all these. I use these as contour. I had a better brush. This one's just a random one from Ulta. Bare Minerals, actually, but it broke. And then I do up here a little bit. And I kind of like just go in all three. Like, it's just a habit. A little bit in each. All right. Contour done. Now blush. I just use a basic brush, L'Oreal. It's really cheap. My blush brush. I want to get the Kylie Jenner one. MAC has it, and I love it. All right. I think I'm gonna go downstairs for eyeshadow because Sydney's eyeshadow is better than mine. I need a new palette. Any suggestions in the comments would be appreciated. Actually, I'm just gonna do it here. Like, you won't even, like, whatever. So what I use is, I don't know, I love the Morphe palettes, but mine, for some reason, I feel like it just doesn't stick on my face very well. Let's try it, though. I like the look of super light on your eyelids, so I use, like, my lightest colors and sparkly and just coat that. I just mix them too. I don't even know if you're supposed to mix colors. I like really light on the lid because I feel like it looks good against your like lashes. That's very light. Don't worry, I'm gonna go over it with dark. Okay, now I'm gonna take like a semi light brown. Maybe mix it with some orange do above y'all please don't make fun of me i literally don't know what i'm doing i feel like i'm putting so much on it. yeah i'm putting this dark color and it just doesn't look like it's going on i kind of did okay i just looked at my phone and i don't know why it looks so bad i need a q-tip like why does it not look that bad here okay they're not that bad right and then i like to do super light above it see how i did the super light above it y'all please don't make fun of me i'm doing my best carly said it works to do dark under okay i just looked in sid's mirror and it doesn't even look that bad again i put on so much and like you can barely see it but yeah i'll take any recommendations in the comments okay now it's my favorite time Highlighter for my cheeks. I use the Becca Champagne Pop. Again, something I splurged on. I just do it right there. I feel like highlighter makes such a difference. Mine like shattered if you can't tell, but it still works. Gotta use every bit of that baby. And then I put it on my nose and cute as well. Then for my inner eyelids, I use this tiny brush. I think this is such a big step, putting it right here. See how much that glows now? Then up here. See? So much more glowy. I love highlighter. Okay, eyebrows I don't do anything to, except I got this Anastasia Brow Gel. So I try to swipe them up, and just it keeps them in line better. I tried to cut them myself so they can like be more raggedy, but we'll see. Mine are so thick, they like don't move. That might be as good as we're getting. Mac's mom uses these and Mac does too. It's these little shavers. They're on Amazon for like five bucks. They're like a razor just to touch up. So helpful. I probably shouldn't do this with makeup on. As for my eyelashes, I just got them done and they look rough already. Like, that's so annoying. I need to take a break from my eyelash extensions. I just love my people home so much. So I can't decide if I should put on mascara. I have fake lashes, but I don't feel like dealing with that. I might just put mascara over it, which is so bad, but they're already rough. And they have makeup on them. Yeah, I'll just do some mascara. Goodbye, eyelash extensions. You're not supposed to do that with them. Don't follow me. I'm just taking a break after this because I'm just getting home. I'm kidding. I'll probably go get them again after this. I always try to take a break and then it never works. I think it's because I got them wet on the first day. They normally last longer than this. They're just like clumped up. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, they look a little fuller now, I guess. 
do some on my bottom. They always tell me I have such dark bottom lashes. I'm glad I have dark. For lip gloss, I normally just use this Glow with MoMA, one of my friends from home. Just glowy versus wear garnet lipstick, but I'll put that on later. I don't really want to put that on and then walk with a mask, so I might wait to put it on until we get to the studio. Lip gloss is so important as well. Then, this part's really important, especially for today, I use Urban Decay Setting Spray. And really need it at the same place. I just feel like my makeup's not complete without um, primer and setting spray. And here, it's a complete look. So, I'll come back when I do, I'm ready to do my hair. All right, y'all, it's time for hair. My makeup has stayed good so far. So basically, what I do for hair, it's a little poofy because it's humid outside. I take this little piece. I'm gonna have to like look in here for this. I literally haven't done this in so long, I don't even remember, honestly. So I'll take this, and I recently started doing it on um, both sides looking. Okay, we're gonna hold this piece. So now I know this is how much I want on that side. So I twist it and like hold it to make sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take this piece, keep this one in my head. And then now. Keys. Now, both sides are done. You take both pieces and add to the little point we made at first. But this part you have to be so careful to not um, hold whatever you just made with those. You're really careful because they're very sensitive at the bottom. It's so hard, y'all. But you get used to it. Okay, not bad. It's a little messy, but we can fix with bobby pins and hairspray. Okay, I'm really proud. Okay, it doesn't look that good here. We'll tease it and stuff. But if you can see, that how it's gonna look today. We'll do some hairspray, lock it in. Okay, I like to do that before I curl too. Okay, my roommate's hairs are already curled, so it's time to get to curling. Okay, the front pieces are the most important, so I need to do these good. Normally my favorite is when Kaylee does my curls. I call them Kaylee curls, but we're kinda running out of time. So to save time, I'm gonna do them. But it's easiest to like curl them after you put it up, because once if you crumb before and then put it up, it just gets messy, you know. Literally, look at this. It was even more crowded right here earlier, but. Okay, hair is done. It needs to like fall and chill out. Obviously, I need to put the bow in, but here's what it looks like. I need to like let them like span out, but pretty good for not having done it in forever. So before I tease the top, I'm gonna put my uniform top on and then put bow on. Okay, so I managed to get it on without like totally messing up my hair. I lost my bow, but Sydney luckily had another one. So now I just need to tease and then I'm set. This bow looks so whack. I might wait for Mac to tease. Okay, I got Mac to tease my hair and the look is complete. She did so good. So this is the complete look. Put my tattoo on. Thank you guys for watching and go watch the game day vlog if you haven't. I'm about to continue it. So love y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.